What's up guys? What's good? Uh, it's 10 o'clock and on Tuesday night and I'm posting a video today because I haven't posted a video in like a week so let's talk about PLL. Let's talk about Pretty Little Liars since I've got nothing else to watch. Since freaking Finding Carter's over till October. Mm, what am I going to do with my life? Just kidding. I have school but still I could still watch it. <laughs> Um, anyway, so, um, basically, PLL was crazy and has been crazy since the premiere, and I don't understand, I don't understand, I just, I just, I don't know, like, the whole PLL thing confuses the shit out of me. Am I the only one? Like, okay, so, basically, tonight was basically about Spencer and all of them, but then it's like, Spencer was going crazy. She couldn't sleep. I mean, okay, I shouldn't say crazy, but she couldn't sleep. She had to get pot from somebody just to sleep. Like, really. Spencer must be so distressed that she can't sleep and is thinking still about that night that they were, or, you know, that month or whatever that they were trapped in that place. And, like, apparently she had blood all over her. Like, and then, like, when she woke up, like, I don't know what happened, but something must have happened. Either that, I don't think Spencer would have killed anybody. I think A put, like, or Charles, whatever his name, his name is, he put, like, he put blood all over her just to look like she did something guilty, to make her feel guilty and look guilty, which you're such a fucked up character, Charles, whoever the fuck you are, go fucking kill yourself because that's, that's fucked up. Anyway. So, Spencer had to get weed from someone at the brew, <laughs> which is kind of weird. Um, and she looked in Arya's garbage can just to get pills. You're messed up, Spencer. I love you, but no. But, okay, so Arya was trapped in that room. Like, whoa. Like, A must have, like, locked her in there or something. Because she was like... She was freaking out. She was doing her pictures in the dark room, and then all of a sudden she couldn't get out of the door, and she was flipping out. I mean, did you guys hear her breathing? Like, oh my god. I thought it was crazy. I was like, Arya, calm down. Like, but then I would be scared too, so she's not the only one. But anyway, so, oh my god. That guy she was with, Clark, he was hot. And he needs to be on there for a while, because Arya could date that, like, who would want to tap that? Like, he's hot. Like, to be real. Um, <laughs> he was cute, and he seemed really sweet, so he should be on there more. Instead of, you know, Andrew. Anyway. Okay. <clears throat> All of, and then, like, Hannah was being a total bitch to Caleb. I felt kind of bad for Caleb. But then I'm like, then I'm like, uh, but then I felt kind of, like, both sides of the story, because honestly, I think... I think Caleb was going a little bit too overboard by putting a tracking device in her car. But then, I don't know, like, I think he has a good point on tracking on where Hannah could be at all times. So I think she should keep that on there just in case. If they get, like, kidnapped again, then if they take, like, Hannah's car or phone or something like that, then they would know, then Caleb would know where they were All if they all got kidnapped again. They would all know where they were because of their cell phones, but I don't know if they got it on all of their cell phones or just Hannah's or what, but I think that's a smart move on Caleb's part. Anyway, don't mind my face, by the way. Um, anyway, so Hannah was being kind of a bitch, but then I kind of understand her because honestly, I mean, I would love the protection, but I would need some space, you know? Like, I wouldn't want to be, like, constantly clingy and constantly, like, ca like, Caleb clinging on to me, that would annoy me. Like, I would be Hannah. I'd be annoyed as fuck. Like, to be real. Like, I don't like clingy, clingy, I don't like clingy people anyway, so that would annoy me really, really fast. Anyway, and then, and then Emily with that whole thing was like, okay, I just, I don't understand. Okay, I can't trust that Sarah Harvey person, whatever her name is. I mean, I can't trust anybody, but, you know, I, like, every new character that comes on, I always find them suspicious or sketchy or working with A or something like that. 
So that's why I don't trust any new character that comes into the show because honestly, it's just it's it's just weird. Like someone just coming out of fucking nowhere. Like I I don't understand that. But okay. Anyway, so I mean Sarah Hart. I mean she seems cool and she doesn't seem like she's working for anybody. But then she's kind of weird. Do you guys think she's weird? I think she's a little weird. But I don't know. Maybe that's me. I I find I find the most random things to be weird, I guess, but I don't know, I just find Sarah Harvey kind of a strange character, but I don't know. So, is Sarah Harvey going to be, like, in love with Emily or something, because did you see them in the pool? I mean, like, I was like, okay, was I the only one that was freaking out when they went underwater? I thought, like, something was going to happen to them. Me and my mom were both flipping out. We were like, oh my god, don't drown, please. Like, I thought they were gonna like, I thought they were gonna kiss underwater for a second, or either that, or someone was gonna like dunk their heads into the water and make them drown themselves, but then I was like, thank god, that's something Paige would do, because I hate fucking Paige. Paige does not need to come back. I hope she doesn't come back, but I heard she's gonna come back, so it sucks. Um, anyway, so, yeah, um... And then, like, Allison, Allison was being kind of strange. She seemed kind of disturbed by it. I mean, I would be too if my brother was dead. But still, I mean, I mean, that whole thing. Oh, God. That's so fucked up. Do you guys? Oh, my God. That whole story that her dad was telling her. Oh, my God. I thought that was so fucked up. Like, your brother drowning you when you were a baby, almost drowning you when you were a baby in the tub. Like, what the fuck? I would have been so scared and distraught and disturbed, and I would be like, thank God he's gone, because he seems like he's a mental case. He needs to be somewhere, he needs to be in an in institution, because that's not right. But I don't think Charles is dead. He is plenty much alive. He is probably stalking them as we speak. He's probably got all of their cell phones tracked. Um, he's he's just everywhere. He's like, I mean, I mean, I know it, guys. I, I just have a feeling that he's out there. And I feel like Charles could, is somebody that we know, we, we've seen before. Maybe I want to think so. I, I, I don't know. I just think that Charles is somebody we've already seen in the show before. Maybe. I don't know. I think we've seen him before. That's what I have a feeling. I don't know. Like, I heard that A could be, or, you know, Charles A, whatever person, could be transgender, but I don't know. So, yeah. And then, I thought it was really fucking stupid of them to go to that stupid place where the Radley records were being kept. Like, to be honest, why the fuck would you need to go there? Like, I don't, like, I mean, I understand to find the history of what Charles is, what his history is. But, honestly, I don't think that's going to get you anywhere, because, like, it's just it's just a bunch of files that it says that he's crazy. Big deal. Like, why don't you just go confront him yourself and say, what the fuck are you doing? But then they can't, because he's a dangerous person. So, but then, I don't know, like, I just have a feel, I don't know, I just, I, I thought it was stupid that they went to go get the records. Like, they had to sneak in and everything. I don't think it was worth it to me. Like, it was... I don't know, I just had the feeling it, was, it wasn't really worth it. <clears throat> but, um, yeah. But, um, did you guys see how hot Ezra looked? <laughs> did you guys see how hot all the boys looked? Even though Toby wasn't in tonight, Toby's being a real fucking dick now, and I don't like it. He needs to be sweet again. Like, it, it's annoying. Like, I mean, I know he's a cop and everything, blah, 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 but he needs to stop being a dick-ass cop and be lovable to Spencer, because she's having a hard time right now, and that's annoying me. And I have a feeling that Andrew and Ari are going to be a thing. Do you guys think? I, I, I don't know. I just have a feeling that they're going to be like, they're going to like, Ezra, I think they're going to make Ezra look bad again. They're going to have like a whole storyline of Ezra hiding something again or being bad again. You know, something like that. And then Andrew's going to be the good guy, and she's going to go to the good guy, and then she's going to despise Ezra. I don't know. I just have a feeling. I don't know. Maybe that's me. But but do you guys think Al Allison and Lorenzo are going to be, like, a thing? Because did you guys see how cute they were? La not this week, but last week. They were so cute and happy. They looked happy and everything else. And, yeah. 
I don't know. Do you guys think Emily should be with that Sarah Harvey chick? I don't know. I really kind of don't want her to be with her because, I don't, honestly, I kind of want Emily to just to be single for a little while. I don't know why they make Emily date every freaking new girl that's in the show. It's really fucking weird. Like, why? What's the point of that? What if they're not gay? Do you just make them gay anyway? Like, I don't understand. But... I mean, I just think Emily should just be single for a little while and try to find herself and see, like, what what girl is really right out there for her anyway. Like, why does she have to date every fucking new girl that's in Rosewood? Like, she could just, you know, be single and try to find someone on her own besides someone coming up to her and saying, hey, I like you, blah, blah, blah. So, I mean, that's how I feel. I don't know how you guys feel, but... Yeah, I just think Emily would be happier if she was single, but then I kind of want her and Allison to be together, but then I just, I don't know, I have a whole thing on Emerson, like, like, Emerson, I don't know, I just don't feel like Emerson is real enough to be a couple, you know, it's like a, I don't know, I think it's like a, always like a first love kind of thing, like, it's like a, where, like, Emily and, Emily and Allie will always have history together, but I just don't see Allie being a lesbian at all, so I just, like, that's just me, in my opinion, I don't know about you guys, but I just think that Allie should just be straight and just flirt with Emily as much as she can, I know they're gonna have a really good history, they've, they've had really good history together, I mean, they don't, they're like the same person, basically, I mean, Allie, Allie's a lot like Emily, like, Emily's so sensitive and so sweet and nice and caring and she's really helpful and it honestly that's really nice and sweet and everything but I just don't see Allie like that. I just don't see Allie being with a person like that. I just see Allie being with somebody like you know like kind of like her you know. I mean I don't I love Allie don't get me wrong Allie's amazing but I don't know I just find myself Allie being with like somebody kind of like her darker side, like, you know, like, someone that does bad shit, and does drugs, and does alcohol, and he's got tattoos, or a girl that's got tattoos, whatever. I don't know, she could be bisexual, who fucking knows? This show is insane, you guys, you guys, you, we just don't know. But anyway, what do you guys think, oh my god, next week looks crazy, it looks like a fucking horror movie. It, it was insane, I was like, what? Like, like, I was so confused on the first part, like, where the girl was in the bathtub. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, why is there blood in the bathtub? Anyway, so it was a really good episode tonight, and I was pretty damn impressed. But I am so fucking pissed off that Mona wasn't on there this week. I know she's going to be on there next week, which I'm really happy about, because Mona's one of my favorite characters, and I've missed her so much since the season premiere, and she hasn't been on in a while, and I miss her, and I need to see her freaking face and her fucking beautiful-ass hair. Oh my god. Alright, well guys, I'm gonna go. Is that long enough talking for 13 minutes? Alright, I love you guys. And see you later. Bye!